Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu finds himself in the middle of a deepening crisis. Week after week, thousands of protesters have surrounded his official residence. The protesters are unrelenting. They want Netanyahu to step down. But why does Israel's longest serving Prime Minister find himself in this situation? How did things reach this point? This next report offers some answers. Take a look. Benjamin Netanyahu became the first sitting Israeli Prime Minister to be indicted for serious charges of corruption. The once unassailable giant of Israeli politics has been forced to defend himself in a courtroom. He faces an investigation for charges of breach of trust, accepting bribes and fraud. But if this wasn't enough, the COVID-19 crisis and its economic impact has complicated matters for him. Week after week, thousands of protesters surround his official residence in central Jerusalem and demand his resignation. On Saturday, protesters clashed with the police, blew whistles and waved signs calling for his ouster. I came to protest about the occupation and about the social situation in Israel. That's very bad. People don't have food in their fridge. People don't have a job, don't have a future. So we have to make a change very quick. Israeli media estimated that about 10,000 people attended what has become a weekly demonstration in Jerusalem. The protests built up over the summer as COVID-19 cases spiked. With a population of 9 million, Israel has reported almost 150,000 infections and more than 1,000 deaths. The country is in a recession as a result of the pandemic and the unemployment rate is hovering above 20 percent. I think it's time for Bibi to go away and leave us alone and not alone, I mean without him, <laughs> and let him uh, uh, figure out what to do with uh, all these uh, accusations he's got against him. In recent weeks, the five-time Israeli Prime Minister has scored on the diplomatic front. With some help from Donald Trump, he has managed to get the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain to establish full formal diplomatic ties with Israel. But on the domestic front, he has been forced to run a coalition government with his rival, Benny Gantz. The corruption investigation has damaged his reputation. And the COVID crisis has resulted in widespread unemployment, resulting in spiralling protests. Bureau report, we on World is One.